Building a directory website has always been proven to be difficult because there's a lot of different themes out there and plugins that you can use to achieve basically the same thing. Someone is needing to add a listing to a website and either it's going to be free or paid. And of course, there's going to be some other options like promotions and stuff like that. But basically, it's all down to the same thing. In this video, we're going to show you the Will City WordPress directory theme. And we're going to show you a few of the things that it can do that a lot of other um, themes for directories cannot do. Hey everyone, my name is Donald, and if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you haven't done so yet, turn on the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever we upload a new video. And don't forget to leave a like right down below. Alright, so this is Will City, and you can check out a demo by going to willcity.com. And I love the way that they have their demo set up. And... They have a great looking hero header up here with some different categories that you can you can put here and of course it'll go to that category on the site. And of course you have your searching right here as well as they have a, an event post type so you can search for events and add events to the site. Great looking grids for putting out listings to show them real quick of like the most recent or things like that. They have ways that you can show different uh, locations as well as the categories that you may have. So there's a lot of different uh, options for those. And of course you can list the events that are upcoming and then you'll have different tabs so that you can actually see the ones that are near you. So if you click allow and let it search by nearby you, they won't have any because there's I'm in the US and this is not in the US. But you can actually search near you uh, on the listing so that you can find events that are happening or even listings that are near your location. So they have a lot of different options like the paid listings and you can even do promoted listings and it can be in a lot of different places for promoted listings and we'll cover that in a later video as well as the paid claim listings. So and here's one uh, thing that they have that a lot of other directory themes do not have and that is a, an iOS and Android application that is bundled with the actual theme. So you don't have to pay extra for it. It's something that comes with the theme. And speaking from personal experience, uh, it probably has a little bit of a learning curve on like a scale of one to 10, maybe like a four or five. But once you get that learning curve over and you build the apps, then everything is, it just runs smoothly. Uh, and we'll go over that in a later video as well. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with this theme, and I just love the way that it, it looks overall. Let's take a look at some of the pages that they have set up. So we have different home style pages, as well as a map page. So we can see what the map page looks like. So if you wanna see what the different listings look like, you have all of those options. You can hover over top of them and they look really great on the map and then you can actually click on them and it'll open it up here and then of course if you click on them on the left hand side then they open them up over here. There's a lot of different options that you can add to each of these restaurant um, listings, I'm sorry, the uh, directory listings that you can have. There's a lot of different features that you can add. So descriptions, um, you can do the categories and tags, photos, you can upload galleries and videos as well as each listing can actually have their own events. So for example, if you're a business and you're having a couple of dining events for your restaurant, you can add those events or at least allow customers to add those events to their listing page so they show up on your site. As well as built-in review systems, so everything's just built into the site. There's no additional plugins needed, not even WooCommerce, which is very different from the others. WooCommerce can be installed and you can link them to other products and stuff like that when you're purchasing a listing, uh, but it's not required and you don't need it to run the site, which is always great because WooCommerce is pretty heavy. And again, we'll go over that in a later video. We're just kind of doing an introduction video here. Uh, bookmarking, sharing, and you can inbox the owner once you sign in and it goes straight to their dashboard, which is really cool looking. You can write a review and report them right here. So just a lot of different options that you have for this directory theme. You can actually sort by different locations. So you can see that we have the listing location tag and of course San Francisco. So we have all of these listings that are in San Francisco that you can do here. And then of course you can navigate and, and narrow them down over here on the, on the left hand side. They also have the integrated blog, which is great if you wanna have the blog 
So you have great looking blogs over here with share and um, different different gallery images over here and over here. And then of course they have over here the suggested list listings. And this is one of their promotions that they have um, that you can do on the back end of the site. So you can have people so they can purchase a promotion and boost their post and it'll show on the blog posts uh, sidebar. So that's always great to do. As I mentioned before, they have event integration. So these are all events hosted by another person. So all of these are actually different events hosted by different listing owners. And as you can see there, so you see that it's hosted by Jeffrey, hosted by admin. Um, and of course, it'll go by whatever name they have for their listing. And you can sort by when and where, um, all of those different options. They have other regular pages too, not just uh, directory pages, so it, it does it does work with Visual Composer, Elementor, King Composer, uh, Page Builders. Currently, I'm using the uh, Elementor and King Composer to do some of the pages, so those are available. Um, and you can just make regular pages here. And of course, we have like the About Us. So again, this is all made with the the page builders that they offer for you. They do have great looking login and register pop-ups so everything is easy you don't have to navigate off to another site nothing looks like WordPress with this which is what we're trying to go for when we build a website we don't want it to look standard and default overall this is a great theme I have been working with this for a couple of projects right now um, one of them being a directory listing for an organization for a non a not for profit and it's going very well so far um, I am very much enjoying all of the different options that we have, such as the promotions. Uh, it's got the PayPal, Stripe, and bank account uh, transfer. All of that's integrated with it. And again, no third-party plugins are needed, um, like WooCommerce or any um, uh, WordPress job manager. It doesn't run off WordPress job manager, which is, which is really great in my opinion. There's a lot of different options, and over the next couple of videos, we'll go over how to install this, how to uh, set up your listings, add your different fields, and then we'll go into diving into building the iOS and Android app and things like that. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Uh, we will have more videos about Will City coming soon. But in the meantime, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and we will see you next time.